can see the fire damage from the this building was burnt burnt down pretty much in 1983 in the riots. This is one of the most badly fire damaged rooms. This building it was owned by a family of Tamil people, and then in 1983 we had these race riots. It was called Black July and it was a night in which mobs of people ransacked businesses and homes of Tamil people. And during these riots this place was burnt and after that the family who owned it had to flee the country and it was left locked up and neglected from 1983 until when we got them to break the chains and let us in in 2014. We organized a series of parties over a few years called PETA Interchange. It was uh, an annual gathering that we held in Colombo in abandoned buildings in the form of a all-night electronic music performance. It began in 2012, where a bunch of artists from Europe and Southeast Asia came to Colombo to have an artist residency where we made music together for a couple of weeks. It was started as a showcase of the work that the musicians had created and then became its own thing over the years. So this was the main room, or one of the main rooms um, for both years. So there was quite a lot of people in here and we made use of this entire cinema screen with like four projectors to cover the whole space. So it was quite, a, it was quite impressive. There was a few buildings which had kind of I had wandered into and um, checked out because back uh, then the civil war in Sri Lanka had been going on from at least 1983 to 2009. So there were lots of parts of town that were actually quite deserted. Even though it's quite a normal thing in you know Europe to do electronic music in spaces like this. It's not something that's so common, definitely in Sri Lanka or even regionally. We really liked the fact that it was an abandoned space. It had so much history and so much character and so many different spaces that could be used in different ways. We really felt it kind of exemplified that gritty feel, but somewhere inside you're also like, shit, this place was burned down by, you know, horrible people because of race and shit like that. The second PETA interchange we did there, parts were the same, but there was entire new areas, entire new cinema hall, uh, which we could access. So actually the second time was quite different to the first time. It was extremely inspiring for everybody to see this space. I hope it broadened the horizons of people and made people feel okay. We, it is possible to do things in places like this which I don't think many people thought before was possible. Yeah. In 2014, I started a record label called Jambutech. For the first couple of years, running the label was myself. But in 2016, I met uh, Nigel Pereira. And since then, he's been running the label with me. We started off as just a record label, releasing music. But over the years, we've done a lot of other things. We, we organize workshops and artist residencies. What we feel kind of makes us stand out is that we we really look at the whole package of things and it's of course the music is the most important thing but um, 
yeah, we really try to take pay attention to detail and take care and create something that's more than just a record label. What drew me to the scene, to be honest, was that uh, this bunch of kids, essentially, uh, being so passionate about music and them always being like, we need to find new music, like find something that sounds new. The best thing I've ever experienced was playing, playing my own music live. Really cool having all that control over a dance floor. Uh, the, uh, so it was so inspiring as an artist to be like see to see everyone do different things and come together and unite to one cause. It's playing music and then you see the person who's dancing. Everyone just becoming one. Yeah, that whole sense of just like oneness is the reason why I DJ. One of my biggest motivations was to show this side of the country that people don't normally see, to kind of put Sri Lanka on the map uh, in terms of underground electronic music. But locally, one of the big reasons was just to motivate people. I mean, just to just to show people that it's possible. I, I'm, I always hope that some kid is going to start a label and I think, wow, they, those guys are doing it like so much better than we are. Like they've really improved. Like I always wanted to kind of just motivate and inspire and show people that it's possible. There's something special about electronic music. I mean, for one thing, there's often no words in it. I think that also really plays a big role in making it kind of accessible universally. It's really powerful and it brings people together and um, yeah, to this day I really, I identify with it, I guess. We used to be uh, a bunch of kids, I guess, very passionate about throwing parties, throwing events, coming together, finding new music and like bringing it to the public. and. Unfortunately, I guess because of so many factors, that does not happen as much as we would like to anymore. Undoing a kid, they all alter Namdala, Egolo, Eka Venema, Patagara, Angila, Dinitoda, Ekanisa, Hamati, same a policy in Karadera, Ami, Karadera, they all lick at the Roman at the Ronatilla. Yeah, there was a few deaths as well, and now even my parents asked me what what kind of parties do you go and DJ at and um, yeah, I know what they're talking about. People, I guess, weren't really responsible at these parties and there was a lot of like, it just became about like, it's going to a party to get wasted. Three people who took ill during a party at a hotel in the Vadua area have passed away. It has been revealed that the event was made public over social media and that youth from across the country has attended it. A team of 43 police officials from several police stations in Polo Narwa raided the hotel following a tip-off received that many illegal drugs and narcotics are being used at the party. The police arrested 89 people who had various drugs and narcotics in their possession. The cabinet of ministers have decided to implement the death penalty on those convicted of drug offences. 19 large-scale drug smugglers have been handed down the death sentence by court. After that, nobody was allowed to get uh, nighttime liquor licences because the president felt that the Sri Lankan culture had been disgraced with this kind of behaviour. I mean, people were scared. They were raiding parties, there were cops busting into events, even private events, taking people to jail, locking people up. And for people who were organising events, there was a lot of you know, fear. You never know what's going to happen, whether you can guarantee the safety of the people who come to the party, and even for the uh, people who rent equipment, the police sometimes would seize equipment and stuff. Yeah, it kind of put a lot of people off from actually organizing gigs. A lot of that negativity has played a role in having a hold or stumping like the scene's growth. Because a lot of the producers who were doing a lot of good events and putting out a lot of good music, they're also, you know, very discouraged at this. Especially for the government, it's just the drug culture is what they see. And they don't see what's so much more into it, which is a music to 
bringing something new to the table to yeah I, people being inspired with music and doing something different there is not much action and initiatives not not much healthy action on the government's part i don't think so the approach to it is just kind of hard lines foot down no this is not allowed under any circumstances and that that demonizes drug users i think that's the one of the biggest problems really and when the conversation starts there it's it's no wonder that it doesn't really end up anywhere very productive in the end it was always a kind of a heartache before the event is something going to happen you know are we going to get shut down by the cops i mean it's all real possibilities we were running an all night party till 6 in the morning in a country which doesn't really allow that in any legal way so there was always a kind of a fear that something's going to go wrong and that this thing that we built up would suddenly be kind of tarnished but in the end it was all when you see it happening and when you see everyone dancing and you see the visuals you work so hard to do kind of being implemented yeah it's all worth it Sri Lanka is like very class based including uh events and concerts and in this case parties the night clubs in Sri Lanka have this impression that it's not only more money but also kind of safer to deal only with tourists because i i guess they are not from here and they have more money than us and their skin is white so they're kind of better often in sri lanka you get this whole concept of you know the vip area or you know segregated tickets where you have a cheap ticket and then you have a more expensive ticket which comes with you know like a high a high table somewhere overlooking you know the normal people Definitely, they'll get a tourist. Definitely, because tourists want to see something new. Obviously, basically, this is like this is becoming the party central. We basically cater to most of an upper class crowd. If anyone is dressed well, they always are loved inside. It's always how they dress. It's most important. Uh, my name is Craig Stewart. I'm volunteering in the hostel. The hostel owners don't like to have locals at the hostels because they do bring drugs into the scene, and then if they bring drugs, they bring police. That's why I love Peta. because they were always accepting. They were always like, "Hey, it doesn't matter who you are. Just come enjoy this good stuff." Because I remember there was this one time where they had stuff at. And then there were all these different different people. You know, there were the Tamil guys, there were like the Sinhala guys, there were like guys who speak in English. It was like a melting pot of like different people. We tried to be kind of non-exclusionary with the event and seeing all the kind of kids from the area mixing with this kind of colombo elite it really kind of epitomizes what to me electronic music is about which is kind of not seeing people through the lens of what they do or who they are but rather creating spaces for people to come and just kind of really escape from life and dance and listen to music and seeing that kind of mix of people each year it was really special We had like a very strict non-VIP uh, policy going into these dirty locations, not treating anybody better because they are somebody, somebody. Kind of trying to say that they were not um, wanting to promote this classism.
I do try to put the uh, electronic music community to give it priority um, when thinking about my own career and my own kind of development and being part of this electronic music scene from its infancy I guess I saw a lot of potential in it I just wanted to see this develop I wanted people to realize that there's more to Sri Lanka than elephants and beaches and shit like that that there is there is this electronic music culture here and nurturing that has been a real motivation for me. It was great to see over the years how we change as artists as well as how we always try to keep it different each year and try to do better. Um, and I think, you know, I, I hope we did something to the Sri Lankan scene. I mean, it's grown a lot over the years and uh, it's gone through kind of lots of ups and downs. As a result, the scene kind of had to become a bit subdued, in fact, almost kind of stopped. But now in the last few months, there, there is stuff happening. As, as negative as I sometimes am about things, I do also see that there has have been improvements and I felt that I should prioritize that. I mean, I came from here and this is an amazing place despite everything and I saw a lot of potential in the people here and I felt that yeah if everybody had that attitude of you know okay I go to where the scene's good then scene's never going to be good where you are right so um, I don't know how much of that is me just justifying it in hindsight but I really do feel that well, what I've been able to do here is kind of it's more important yeah, even if it is maybe slower and frustrating and all that stuff, it at the end of the day, it feels good to kind of, yeah, play a role in something as special as the development of a music scene. <laughs>